Hello, I am Srinija Desiraju, Solutions Architect here at AWS. In this video, I will demonstrate how to manage cross-region copies of your backups using AWS Backup. Let's get started. Here, we are in the AWS Management Console. Note that our region is set to Northern Virginia. AWS Backup is listed under the Storage category. To get started, we will click Create Backup Plan and then select Build a New Plan. Let's call this plan Web App 1. We will now configure a backup rule. Let's name this backup rule daily with copy. The backup needs to be stored in a backup vault. We will create a new backup vault and call it web app one source. We will use our default encryption key and hit create backup vault. We will set backup frequency to daily. Let's create a customized backup window and put a start time. We will make sure that the job starts within one hour of that time and completes within six hours. Transition to cold storage is only relevant for EFS file system backups. This allows you to store images at reduced cost. The retention period tells AWS Backup how long to store these backups. Let's set this to 30 days. Under Copy to Destination, we will select Northern California region. This will automatically create a copy of the backup jobs in that region. Note that there is an option to copy into a different AWS account. In this case, we are going to use the same AWS account. Let's create a backup vault in that region and call it Web App 1 Target. Click Create Backup Vault. Under Advanced Settings, we have the same two options that can be applied to the copy job. For copy, let's transition EFS backups to cold storage after two weeks and retain these jobs for a period of six months. Click Create Plan. A backup plan has been created. The next step is to assign resources to this backup plan. For this example, we will use the default IAM role for creating and managing recovery points. You can assign resources by tax or by the resource ID. Let's select some resources. Let's choose an EC2 instance. Click Assign Resources. Our backup plan is complete and it will run at the scheduled time. I am going to pause this video so we can skip ahead and see the results of the backup. Welcome back. Looking at the backup plan, we can see the last runtime here. On the protected resources page, you can view resources that are under the protection of AWS Backup. On the Backup Jobs, you can view the status of your backup, restore and copy jobs. Here, we can see that the all jobs in our backup plan completed successfully. 
Let's go to the Northern California region. In the EC2 console, let's click on Snapshots. Here we see a snapshot. This is backup of our Northern Virginia instance. This concludes our demonstration.